Hey guys, Kenny here. I'm here to review the 1982 science fiction movie Tron. What I have here is the 20th anniversary DVD. I don't know if this is available anymore because I got this back in 2002, I believe. I love this one so much. This has to do with in the uh, hu in the human world there are these computer programmers that make that create their own little programs in this uh, computer generated world that uh, 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 and it's in and it's controlled by this thing called the master control program and this one person in the human world uh, oh this stars Jeff Bridges Bruce Boxleitner, David Warner, Cindy Morgan, and Bernard Hughes. This one person in the human world, uh, Jeff Bridges, uh, he, I mean, uh, uh, Flynn, played by Jeff Bridges, was once a, uh, uh, he's been, he's a creator of these video games, of uh, video games, and then uh, David Warner's character, apparently, uh, took his idea and made it his own so he made up his own little computer generated world so it took some fame from away from Flynn and Flynn tries to go in and uh, uh, figure out what what's going on and uh, Bruce Boxliner is the one who plays Tron he made this, made that program, Tron, who is so, supposed to be the, and he's like the, the savior of that computer-generated world because it's, it's like if, if the master control program isn't killed there, it might take over in the human world. And Jeff Bridges, uh, I mean Flynn goes in to, kind of convince Tron to, to help uh, uh, say, uh, destroy the master the MCP <laughs> at first uh, Tron is kind of reluctant but then uh, Flynn is able to convince him and this uh, girl played by Cindy Morgan yeah uh, she has her own program in there and uh, she's also she's someone there who's trying to help Tron and Flynn and the, 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 the ending fight between David Warner's character and Tron is so beautiful because uh, David Warner's character has grown to be a giant and they've, all the, um, a lot of the warriors in the in the computer generated world have free, like discs on the back of their um, on their backs that is a weapon but also is a method of communication to the human world um, and uh, <laughs> I love it how Tron throws the disc at David Warner's character's head and then it kind of like like it it breaks something on the forehead and then he uh, that he's regular size and then he grows that to the giant size from the MCP after that disc breaks his head it breaks something on his head <laughs> and the only way to uh, destroy the MCP because it has these like wall things spinning around it spinning around it is to have it stop and go right in between these two particular di uh, walls and <coughs> Flynn jumps in to the MCP and then that makes it go haywire and then it spins around and then it stops to that point <laughs> and then voila the <coughs> MCP is destroyed I highly recommend this. This one, 
one thing that's most famous in this is the uh, light cycles and, um, and then there are these flying uh, flying things that are also pretty menacing and the and then the tanks are also cool looking um, uh, but I highly recommend this if you haven't already I would highly appreciate it if you if you would subscribe over here if you're watching the video by itself or subscribe down here if you're watching the video on my channel um, oh, a great moment that happens in this is when Flynn is fighting one of the there's a the the good guys and bad guys are distinguished by colors <laughs> The bad guys have are red, while the blue, good guys are blue. So um, Flynn fights one of the guys in red, and then I guess when he's holding the guy who's red, the red color gets onto him. <laughs> so Tron and the Cindy Morgan's character are on this fl floating or flying uh, thing that's on this beam of light, and. Uh, Tron uh, accidentally almost knocks Flynn off because he's red and then once uh, Tron touches him he changes back to blue <laughs> but I highly recommend that I don't know I think that's all I have to say about this I can't think of anything else to say other than it's nearly 30 years and this is still very important to me so I think any of you who haven't seen this really should check this out and uh, it's also probably important to see this before the sequel comes out this December I believe Tron Legacy which just by just the first teaser that's released it looks like it will really be amazing so check out Tron 1 first because I highly recommend it bye